everyone. Welcome to part three of my 10 cards, one kit series for Simon Says Stamps May 2018 Kind Heart Kit. Let's get started with card number nine. I'm using a piece of watercolor cardstock um, cut to an A2 size card size. And then I'm just running the green ink cube down from the top of the page to the bottom to make the background. And then I'm going to do the same with the orange ink cube going from the bottom to about an inch um, towards the top. Um, I'm going to make a signpost for this masculine card that we're working on this morning. So I just took a die in that I had on hand to make the, the fence post. Um, and then I'm just kind of going over it with the green and orange ink cubes until I get a color I like. Um, since it's a masculine card, I want it to be a little rough looking. So I'm going to tear off the, uh, the right hand side and then a little bit off of the top just to, I don't know, give it a little interest, make it look like something I'm a man would want. I don't know why men like torn things, but that's just in my head. That's what I imagine. So, okay. Now we're going to pop up that panel on foam tape, one layer, and then just put it right on top of the card base, which is a craft card stock at 110 pound. Um, and then we're going to put the fence post onto the card base and now it's time to get out your inner poet so I went back to the stickers that came with the kit and I picked a few of the sentiments that I thought would go together nice to um, you know make a, a nice little poem for someone that you'd want to send a card to in particular I think it would be work well as a masculine card so it says heart wide open in this moment nowhere to be it's all you so you know it's like when you're in that really really happy happy stage of the relationship. That's the card that you would send. Or I guess if you're in the doghouse and you want to get back to the happy place, you could, you could use this card as well. Um, all right, now let's move on to card number 10. And for this one, I took one of the pieces of pattern paper in the kit and one of the stamps in the kit. And I'm just, um, you know, I just embossed the, the edges with gold, um, embossing powder and then heat set that. And then I took one of the large sentiments in the kit and I stamped it on vellum, which I did off camera just because it, um, it took kind of a long time to, to do it. And I used gold embossing powder for that also. And now I'm just putting the pattern paper on the card base. And now we're going to put the sentiment stamped on vellum on top of all that. And because you don't want the glue to show through the, um, the front of the card, I'm just kind of dotting it behind the, um, the embossed letter so that that'll hide it a little bit. Then I'm just going to put it right on top of the card and I'm going to put some acrylic blocks on top to make sure that, um, that the, that that vellum panel stays flat. Okay. So now it's time to decorate the front of our card. So I'm taking some of the little distress oxide ink colored leaves that I had for, um, part two that I done for part two. And we're just going to put a few of those in the lower left hand corner with one of the puffy stickers on top of it. And that completes card 10. Now here's the special bonus card that I thought I would include for you guys. We're going to make a magic eight ball shaker card. And to do this, I use my infinity circle dies by hero arts. And we're going to use three of the circles from that kit. I use the largest, um, circle to cut out the, um, the black magic eight ball part and then the second the, the medium size circle for the window that we're going to create on both sides of the shaker card so it's going to be a shaker card and it's going to be double sided now the sentiment for the magic eight ball card comes from the simon says stamp kit and the sentiment says you win the award for being the most awesome person i know so the idea here is you're going to um, have a window in the magic eight ball card and you're going to shake it and there's some confetti in there and then when the confetti settles you see this cute little saying that says you win the award for being the most awesome person i know okay we're going to use the medium circle die to cut out that sentiment and there it is we have that done and now we're going to take the medium circle die oh not yet we have to color in the um the background first so i'm using a b32 and a b34 to make kind of the if you've ever played with a magic eight ball, you know that it has this kind of blue cloudy water on the inside. So that's what I'm trying to recreate here. And I use a B32 over the whole thing, B34 
along the edges. Then I'm gonna blend that all together with B32. And then right around the sentiment itself, we're gonna go back over all that with B000. Now, a lot of people will use colorless blender when they're trying to lighten things out. I tend to like to use a lighter shade, a very light shade of whatever the color is you're using. I think that for me, that gives a better blend. Okay, now it is time to put the shaker part together. Um, and to do that, we're going to um, adhere the sentiment to the base of the card. And I, before I drew a circle, just to make sure I got the placement correct on the back of the card and um, putting some plastic behind the top of the shaker element. And now we're going to adhere or make, I'm sorry, first we have to make the frame that's going to go around the rim of the window. And to do that, we're gonna use the medium and the smallest circle die. And there we have our little frame. I'm just using some adhesive to um, adhere it to the front of the shaker on top of the plastic. Now I'm taking some foam tape and I'm cutting it in thirds. So it's about, I don't know, like a little more than a quarter of an inch. I remove the backing from both sides to make it more pliable. And we're going to just um, apply it in a circle around the outside edge of the of that um, inner portion. You don't wanna to touch the blue spot. You wanna have about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch between the blue and where you place the tape because otherwise it, the tape could show through the shaker and make it messy looking. All right, now I'm taking some sequins. These are from the Ton Stamps. I think it's called like their Cosmic, um, cosmic Mix or Cosmic Couture Mix, something like that. Okay, now I just put the top of the, of the shaker window on top of the card and that's gonna make the back of our card. Um, now we're gonna work on the front, the part of the card that has the eight. We're gonna do the same thing we did before where we're going to have one panel made up of the smallest, uh, um, of the smallest circle. We're gonna draw an eight on it and I did this in pencil first just to give myself a chance to erase if I made any mistakes and the magic eight ball eight shape is, it's basically two hexagons, um, two hexagons kind of put together. So you have um, this, you know, it kind of like juts out to the side, then it goes straight down, then it juts in, and then it goes straight across the bottom and you just do that on both sides. I don't know if what I said made sense, so just look at, just look at what I did if you want to figure out what the right way to do it is. Then um, I just went over everything with a black marker. It was my 110 um, Copic marker that I used, but any black marker would work. And then I just erased the pencil lines underneath so that none of that shows through and it looks neat. I attached the eight to the top of the card and you could put the eight right in the center if you want it as though you're looking at the magic eight ball head on, but I kind of like it on a little bit tilted. So that's why I put mine towards the top third. Um, don't forget to put the little frame around the eight. And then here is the full card. So once you get both pieces, you adhere them together. And then on the front, you have your eight. And then on the back, you have your little um, sentiment in the, in, in the shaker window. All right, now it's time to decorate the card. So I wanted to give this card a retro 80s look. It was remind, reminding me of like all the days spent at the roller rink wearing, you know, spandex pants, even though I think I was like 13 years old. I was probably too young to wear spandex pants, but whatever. Um, and so I cut out Happy from the Lawn Fawn. I think it's called their Happy set. And I took one of the sentiments from there that says birthday and um, the glitter paper I used is by Simon Says Stamp, and we're just going to apply both of those sentiments to the top of the card, and then we're going to do a second one because I thought that I wanted to make a more dressed up version. So for the second one, we're going to use a darker purple for happy, and then we're going to back the birthday portion of the sentiment with some turquoise glitter paper by Simon Says Stamp, apply it on an angle, and then... Um, just cut off the edge that is sticking off the magic eight ball so that everything is, um, you know, so that everything is within the, within the circle. Now, 
this card, where I got the idea for this card is because the story time video for this 10 cards, one kit series um, has a magic eight ball featured in it. And I encourage you to go and check out part four of this series to see that video and to see this card in action in that video. And if you want to understand what the sentiment is on the second magic eight ball card that says your soulmate is a seven foot tall drag queen named Disco Kryptonite, then you should definitely watch the video because that mystery will be revealed to you. So, all right, everyone, I hope that you have a great weekend or a great week, depending on when you tune into this. And I will be back soon with some more, with some more videos. Have, have a great week and I'll see you soon.